Hi, Mrs. Teffa here. Okay, so you have typed your rough draft and you are looking at a nice, beautiful copy. However, you need to look at your paper now because your teacher has left you a few comments of things to fix before you send it to your teacher again and you say, yep, this is my final. So when you go to your Google Drive, you're going to find your writing. I found mine. This is Lulu and Charlie. And when you open up your writing, you're going to find these little comments on the side that look like this. And you can see where the part of your story has been highlighted. And that's where the comment goes. So it's highlighted here and it says, oh, no, don't forget to capitalize your name. If I click on it, then it'll show me exactly where they're talking about. And oh, my gosh, my teacher was right. I completely forgot my last name is a proper noun, too. It needs a capital, too. So I am going to click over this H. And I'm going to fix it. And then this little check mark here means I'm resolved it. I fixed it. We're good. So I'm going to click that. That's been resolved. Now I'm going to look at the next one my teacher has. And it said, hi, Amanda, this area looks like it needs more details. So I'm going to click it so I can see exactly what we're talking about. Oh, yeah. This is the one when I was typing. I was like, that's a little short. So I think I'm going to add a few details. I think I'm going to add some describing words about the cat. If you ever want to add details, describing words about something, that's one of the easiest ways to do it. Suddenly... I'm going to say out of the bushes jumped a big furry cat. There, I described my cat. Lulu was so frightened. Ah! She screamed. Oh, and tried to hide, and tried to hide. I've added more details. It's a little bit longer. I think I'm good with that right now. Whatever score I'm going to get on it, I'm feeling confident that I did pretty good on it. So just remember that this is something that you want to take pride in, and you do want to do well on. And you also want someone to enjoy reading it. I mean, why take all the time to do all this writing if, People aren't going to enjoy reading it. If you're going to do all the time, you might as well make it fun. So I've done this. I'm going to click I resolved that. I feel pretty good about it. And then down here it said, please check your spelling. Uh-oh, did I miss somewhere? <gasps> I tried spelling smile, and that's not quite right. So I'm going to click that. And if, when I click it, if you ever have words that are underlined with a little red zigzaggy line, if you click it, it will give you an idea of what word you mean. And it says suggestion, smile. <gasps> That's right. I have to have the E on the end to make the I say the name. My aisle. Okay. That's right. I remember now. And if I click off of it, there's no little red line anymore. So I know that that's spelled correctly. So I'm going to resolve that too. Do I have anything else? Am I feeling really good? Nope. I'm feeling really good. So I would go up here. I'm going to move. And I'm going to click share again, and I'm going to share to my teacher one more time. And even though you've already shared it, you're going to do it again, and here's why. You saw my Google Drive. You saw this whole thing here. Look at all of this. Look at all of my folders. I, there's a lot going on in your teacher's Google Drive, and sometimes things just get lost. So it's really helpful if you share it one more time to say, yes, I am finally done. And you can even say in your little message when you're sharing, you can say, this is my official final. This is, I'm finally done. So that's your job today. It needs to be done and turned into your teacher because we're going to start some new writing on Thursday. Yay! So make sure that it looks good. You've remembered your indents. You resolved anything that your teacher suggested you needed to do. You have a title and your byline, the author byline here, and you're going to send it. When your teacher gets it, a lot of times what I do is I like to do double spacing because I just think it looks so fancy, and sometimes it's nice for the kids to be able to see, you guys, how big our writing is. I like to do double 
Ooh, look at this. And it looks like such a fancy professional paper, you guys. I'm so excited. <laughs> if you know how to insert a picture from your Chromebook, if you would like to, at the very end of your story, if I click enter or return a few times, and I want to do insert image, and you can click camera, and your Chromebook camera, it's right up here. This is what's videotaping me right there. You can hold up your pet rock and you can take a picture. I was looking for mine. Here she is. Here's Lulu. And you can go and take a picture of you and your pet rock and you can insert it in the bottom of your paper. We would love to see that. I love seeing all of the pet rocks and I think it would be really cool to have it on your story. So that's your job today. Go ahead, get started fixing those things. Remember, you don't have to double space this. Your teacher will do that for you. Okay. So don't think that that's something that you need to go back and figure out how to do. And once it looks like this, you're going to say, I am feeling good about it. Feel free to click enter, return a few times and insert that picture with your camera on your Chromebook and you can have your little rock with you and then share it with your teacher. Remember, big blue share button right there, okay? All right, guys, I wish you all the best, and I hope you have a fun time, and I will see you Thursday for our next writing assignment. I'm excited. Bye, guys.